Okay, today we're going to take a look at um, some of the quality capabilities that you can do inside of SAP Business One. Uh, it, with the tools that come with the software, there's actually quite a bit that Business One can provide uh, in the areas of quality and quality control. So to get things started, um, one of the things that I'm going to do here is let me go ahead and uh, let me update my cockpit. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm starting with a really generic uh, view of the system. Uh, I'm looking at some, some last year's profit. Really, you don't see anything on here quality related at all. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to change our cockpit to quality. And so with SAP, you have the ability to create different cockpits that can display all kinds of different widgets and detailed information. And so here's an example. So we're starting with the cockpit. We've now changed the cockpit to the quality cockpit. And so this was a cockpit that um, I simply created using the standard tools, the uh, pervasive analytics. I added the widgets I wanted, the dashboards, and I now have a quality cockpit. And so what I'm keeping track of is how many open QC tasks do I have? How many um, have I worked on? How many are closed? Is there anything in my QC workbench? Obviously, I've got no open QC tasks, nothing in my workbench. Uh, what's my vendor performance as well as my production performance? And like all the other analytics in the system, you can right click and drill down into more detail. So if I want to look at a, a detail of my vendor performance, uh, I can look and see, you know, who are the vendors that are um, most commonly late in my system? Um, over receipts, under receipts, shortages, uh, you know, what's my cash flow related to purchasing and, and so forth. So this, um, you know, is just one example. But again, it's really up to you and, and what you want to see. So first thing we've done is we've changed the cockpit to give us a little more of a detailed view in reference to quality. And now let's take a look at some of the things we can do from a quality perspective. Um, the first thing here is let's go ahead and let's put in a purchase order and then let's inspect those goods as they come in. And so I'm gonna buy one of these items. This happens to be a serialized item. Let's go ahead and add this item. Now that it's added, let's uh, real quickly, let's copy this to a goods receipt. And so um, here's my goods receipt. Now I'm gonna add this goods receipt first because I wanna show you what you can do in reference to quality if it's a serialized or, or lock controlled item. So not only you know, can we create the serial number, but if we need to 